I started Cornucopia Emporium, um, which is a luxury scented um, hand poured candle um, company. I started that because I wanted to start a plausible business and also I wanted to start something that would actually keep my focus. Um, and, you know, pouring candles isn't just about pouring candles, there's a lot of science behind it. Um, in regards to Black Wall Street London, I actually started that organisation because I wanted to help the black community. I come from a marketplace background, car boot sale background, and I was sitting in so many marketplaces, you know, um, selling my candles. And I just had the epiphany that this would be absolutely amazing if I could, um, you know, reconstruct this um, around black owned businesses. Prior to joining the membership, my biggest challenge was definitely financial. Um, I started uh, Cornucopia Emporium via crowdfunding um, and I got so much support in regards to that and that enabled me to kind of do the same thing in regards to Black Wall Street London. It, it gave me a platform to kind of elevate the business. Um, another big fear, big hurdle was my own fear, you know, um, the self-doubt that I had. Um, the lack of confidence that I had um, and I found myself hiding behind my brand Cornucopia Emporium and Black Wall Street London instead of putting a face to my brand so it was definitely my own self-confidence. First off it was all about the confidence level that I lacked um, and you know I didn't want to voice what I had I didn't want to tell the world what I had I kind of hid behind my brand and I remember at a Hustle and Heels event um, and I did my first pitch um, and I was very small and it's funny but I actually connected with a lady called Coach Harris um, Dorette Harris and she stopped me in my tracks and she was like hold on a minute lovely and um, that was a really small pitch do it again so the fact that I was meeting and connecting with these people that actually made a big impact in my business life, um, yeah, was, was amazing. So it impacted me in definite ways where I felt small and I was able to enlarge myself and my business. <laughs> I have progressed in so many different ways. Firstly, I spoke about my confidence. I am a completely different person when it comes to, um, you know, elevating myself in regards to my pitch for my company, Cornucopia Emporium. Now, instead of being very small, I am Natasha Vigil. I am the owner and creative mind behind Cornucopia Emporium, specializing in hand poured luxury scented candles, promoting well being and conscious consumerism. I can go on and on, but I won't. <laughs> so yeah it's definitely elevated my confidence also it's opened so many doors in regards to connecting you know black wall street london is all about me connecting businesses with businesses promoting businesses um, and this platform the membership platform has enabled me to bump heads with so many like-minded people um, and just um, elevate myself in regards to being open, sharing, and soaking up information that also comes my way through the platform. So yeah, brilliant. Kick down the fence. If you're on the fence, just imagine you've got two sides. If you knock that fence down, you get to experience the beauty of both sides of the garden, so to speak. So I would say, feel the fear, do it anyway, kick down the fence and enjoy the experience. My name is Natasha Vigil. I am the owner and creative mind behind Cornucopia Emporium, specializing in hand poured luxury scented candles, promoting well being and conscious consumerism. And I'm also the founder of Black Wall Street London, which is a platform which allows startups and existing businesses to exhibit and sell their products.